Welcome back to another episode of What Should I Get Pierced? My name is Scott Wilkinson. I'm a professional body piercer, and I have been since 1994. Now, on the show, we're going to take a look at six different people from all over the world, take a look at their face, their ear. I tell you what would be good possibilities for piercings and ultimately what I think would look best. Now, first person we're looking at today is Jenna. So let's take a look at Jenna's face. Now, Jenna doesn't have any visible piercings and has a super cute smile, so let's bring some attention to her mouth. Now, with this, I could see a possible Medusa piercing or even just a simple labrette there on the bottom. Look really, really nice. Now, another possibility would be a Monroe piercing, maybe a little bit off to the side like so. And I could also see a septum piercing, a cute little ring with a bunch of little gems on there. Adorable. Now, another possibility would be a nostril piercing. We could do a single one off to the side, one on each side like so, um, and possibly even the bridge. Now, the part that scares me about a bridge piercing is if they reject, they leave really big scars. You have nice skin. Don't want to cause extra scars, but if you had the right anatomy and it was something you're looking for, I think it would look incredible. Now, as far as eyebrow piercings, for sure. I could totally see one on the side there. Um, and if you just did one on the side, I like to balance it out, maybe like a lip piercing on the other side. It's a really nice look. Now, as far as my ultimate picks for Jenna, I would say a septum piercing and an eyebrow piercing. Let's take a look at Jenna's ear. Now, Jenna already has a stretch lobe piercing. It looks like there's probably some sort of a, a silicone plug in there. And it almost looks like it's a heart-shaped one. I don't know if it is or not, but if it is, I like it. Now, she also has a couple other lobe piercings. And what we could do to work with this, I would say a conch piercing. I could also see a rook piercing. A tragus piercing. And... I would say almost an industrial piercing, but it doesn't look like there's enough of a ridge here to actually grab a hold of. So then what I would do is maybe a floating industrial, which is where you do a piercing straight forward back, straight forward back, and it's almost like a surface bar. So you just see the bar going across the front. It's a really cool look. Now, as far as other piercings go, I could see a doth piercing and even some helix piercings all the way up, just kind of completing the look with uh, multiple lobe piercings already. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, I would have to go with the floating industrial as well as the tragus piercing. And the next person we have to look at is Sky. Now, Sky already has a septum piercing, and she's talking about putting maybe a smaller circular barbell, kind of doing that peekaboo look where the beads barely pop out of the nose, or a tight little ring. Either way, I think it would be adorable. Now, as far as adding more piercings, it looks like you have an amazing bridge to do the bridge piercing. It looks like you also have pouty lips where we could get away with the vertical labret piercing or even just an Ashley piercing right in the center. Huge fan of the Ashley and the vertical labret piercing, especially if you have the anatomy to pull it off. Now, another possibility would be Little inner eyebrow piercings just past the curve there. Maybe one on each side like so. Tight little uh, barbell beads with little gems forward facing. I could also see Medusa piercing. I'm talking about doing a smaller ring, so adding a nice bigger gem there. It's a really cool combo. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, I would have to go with the Medusa as well as the Ashley. Now let's take a look at Skye's ear. Now Sky has a single lobe piercing there, and it looks like that's all she has for right now, so let's start decorating. Um, great candidate for an industrial piercing. You can see the beads there, the bar going across the middle. Also an amazing ridge here for a rook, so you can see a little curved barbell there. You could also see some forward helixes, possibly two right there. I could also see a tragus piercing, as well as a conch piercing. And if you want to get really crazy, we could do a vertical conch to conch industrial. It looks like there's enough of a bowl there where you can see the little bead in the back of the ear there like so, and 
So, but you'd have just the bar showing on the front. Um, as far as my ultimate picks, I would have to say the industrial and the conch. Next up, we have Tristan. Now, Tristan already has a nostril piercing, as we can see here with a nice little ring. Um, if we were to do anything with that, I would say maybe... It looks like it's centrally located, so we'd have to probably add one to the other side if you wanted to balance it out. And, of course, we could always do the septum in there as well, creating that trifecta. Um, as far as other piercings, I could see an inner eyebrow piercing. And when you do the inner eyebrow piercing, you kind of angle them slightly different, kind of in like that. Really, really cool look. Um, we could also go with some lip piercings. I could see a normal labret piercing. I can see shark bites, the double on both sides like so. I could also see anti-eyebrow piercing again, or even just a single dermal anchor. And as far as my ultimate picks, I would go with a labret piercing and the inner eyebrows. Let's take a look at Tristan's here. Now Tristan has a single lobe piercing and plenty of room for more, so let's fill it up. Now what I would like here immediately is this doth. You can see how that protrudes out perfectly. We get a nice big ring in there. Um, and if we did something like that, there's even plenty of room up top to do a forward helix. Um, we could also add a conch piercing, plenty of room for a nice big cluster right in there. And I love how there's a nice dark ridge following the helix all the way down his ear. So doing extra cartilage or helix piercings all the way down. You could also see the anti-helix. You can see how this anti-helix is a nice ridge, which gives room for the snug or a couple other anti-helix piercings right up top. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, I'm going to go with five helix piercings. Faith is the next person we have to take a look at. Now, Faith mentioned that uh, she already has a couple of piercings. Hope that's not a problem. Heck no, it's not a problem. You're already part of the Cool Kids Club. Let's just add to it. Your piercings look amazing. They're placed well. Now, I just want to add to. I don't want to take away here. Now, I would say somewhere in the nose, upper lip area is what we would want to do. Now, if it was up to me, I would say a septum piercing because septum gives you more options to add elaborate, keeping it simple, go big, go small, but it's going to add to and change the look a lot. Now, the other option would be a Medusa piercing or philtrum right in the middle. I love that look, but it's easier to change out the septum than it is the Medusa, so therefore, I'm a bigger fan of the Medusa. I'm sorry, I'm a bigger fan of the septum. Now, as far as upper piercings go, I would love to do some high nostrils, but with glasses like that, they're probably gonna get in the way. So maybe a bridge, if we were able to go up high enough there to where it wouldn't get in the way, and if it's the right anatomy. Um, also a possibility of adding some eyebrow piercings. It's fun to see those little extra beads just kind of pop out above the glasses like that. But as far as my ultimate picks, Right now, I would just add a septum. Let's take a look at Faith's ear. Now, Faith has a stretched lobe piercing. Um, if I had to guess, maybe a two gauge, maybe a zero. It's kind of hard to tell from the scale of these pictures. But what I would like to do is continue stretching that plug a little bit bigger. Um, possibly even get it all the way up to a half inch or so. Um, and of course, I'm not going to say stop, but that's a good size. I would also like to do, I don't know if you can see this or not, but a tragus to anti-tragus orbital. Uh, they look nice and tight in there. We'd be able to do a good smaller ring as opposed to one of the bigger ones that a lot of people would have to have. Super fun option. And then there's also the fact that your ear's a little bit longer. We could do a vertical industrial all the way down. Um, with a vertical industrial like this, you're going to see the bar kind of coming out the back and you can almost lay it out where you have a specialty bead in the back and you can see it through the stretched plug. 
another cool feature for having the extra stretch plug. Now, as far as my ultimate picks here, um, I would have to go with the vertical industrial and just keep stretching that lobe. All right, before we move on to the next person, if you haven't done it already, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, Sydney's the next person we have to look at, and Sydney already has a couple nostril piercings. Looks fantastic. Now, if we're going to add anything more here, I would say maybe a Medusa piercing. You can see how Medusa would kind of create a nice, perfectly equilateral triangle. Really cool, fun look. And if we didn't want to do the Medusa, I could also see a vertical labret. Um, as far as other lip piercings go, I could see snake bites a little on the outside skirts of there so we can wear nice tight rings once everything healed up i could also see a bridge piercing right up there as long as we don't have to wear glasses and in the proper anatomy bridge would look really nice and i could also see vertical eyebrow piercings like they're more up and down instead of the angled in might be another fun look as far as my ultimate picks i would have to go with just a Medusa. The right size jewelry in there would be amazing. Let's take a look at Sydney's ear. Now, Sydney already has a beautiful clicker or seam ring in her doth. I love gems like this. It's such a nice centerpiece. Now, you can see there's also a helix piercing up top. What I would like to do is possibly add a second helix piercing, maybe a slightly smaller stud because it's going to be nice and tight in there. And then once this heals up, maybe putting two rings around there. That way you have the rings on the bottom, the rings on the top. And then if you wanted to add any other studs, forward helix. You can see how that area stands out. We can do a nice little cluster up there or a nice gem. Now, the other option I would give would be a flat piercing. Right in the middle there would be a really cool option for adding a nice big gem if you wanted that to stand out if you changed over to the rings on the side. So as far as my ultimate picks, I would have to add that second helix, turn that into a ring, and a forward helix. And up next we have Talia. Now Talia did mention she just retired in eyebrow piercing. It's always so sad when we have to let a piercing go, but she wants to redecorate with something else. Now. One thing I would say is give it some time and you could possibly redo that eyebrow. Now, I can see how the eyebrow piercing looked a little bit further out. I personally like them in just a little bit more. So if you ever wanted to redo it, I could see that in just a little bit more, making it a little bit more visible. Now, as far as other piercings go, you could totally see that other nostril piercing. You know, getting that other side done, healing it up, putting a ring in there, and then possibly adding some high nostrils. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I've been a really big fan of the high nostrils lately. So high nostrils, the nostril piercing, those lips, it kind of everything lines up and looks really, really cool. Now, as far as other piercings go, possibly a bridge piercing. I can see a bridge piercing going across from there to there. I could also see a Medusa piercing, possibly a gestrum. possibly some dolphin bites so you have like four beads going across the bottom of the lip lots of fun options here um as far as my ultimate picks i would say the nostril and the dolphin bites all right now let's take a look at talia's ear now, talia has fairly thin looking ears now, when you see cartilage nice and thin like this in a nice flat area, it's screaming orbital to me. And what that means is we do like maybe a piercing here, a piercing here, and you one, run a ring, either a circular barbell or a cap to bead ring through both piercings. It's like an industrial, but with a ring. And when you wear this, you're going to wear basically just like a ring, and you have a bead right on the front like so. It's a really cool, cool look. Um, another possibility we could do would be a conch piercing. Could also have plenty of room for a tragus piercing down there. And now that we look at the conch, I can even see possible upper and a lower conch piercing, even with that third piercing in there. It's a real fun option. Now, as far as other piercings go, we could do helix piercings up the ear, all the way down into the lobe. Of course, continue stretching that lobe piercing to get a little bit bigger. And as far as my ultimate picks, I would have to say conch and an orbital 
Now that winds everything up for today. What'd you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you enjoy my video, make sure you subscribe so you can see all future videos. Hit the like for me. And of course, keep putting holes in your body. We'll see y'all in the next video.